What an exciting moment. Niaje wa the top 35 under 35. My youth man Muko. Let's do this. Let's talk about this process. Ama Niaje. My name is Kevin Osido. I serve with an organization known as County Governance Watch, which is an NGO that focuses on leadership governance and devolution. My involvement in uh, top 35 under 35 was in the category of exemplary leadership and I must say that I interacted with very dynamic young people who know what they are doing. People who have a purpose, young people who are below 35 years, who have a vision and they can give you a direction of where they are headed to. Now, having gone through this particular process, it was quite interesting to look at the list of nominees because I interacted with people who are in intellectual property, I interacted with people who are in gender, youth leadership, um, persons with disabilities, I interacted with young people. Two of them actually out of the 14 people that I interviewed together with my other colleagues are people who vied for elections, former student leaders who vied for elections in the last election, that's 2017 elections. And I looked at that and I was quite um, excited about how much young people do not consider, you know, opportunities just for the oldies or for the elderly people, but that at the a younger age of below 35 years old, you're already considering running for leadership office up to the level of a women representative. That really caught my eye. Of course, that notwithstanding, we had people who are working with government um, to be able to look at how governments perform. And I was quite excited about one young lady who told us that the, she even, through the organization and the work that she is doing, were able to sue the government in terms of how they misuse or do not put the taxes that we pay into proper use. I thought that was quite intriguing. And looking at um, from the interview process, how we were able to engage with this young lady, I'm telling you, she knows where she is headed to. I wouldn't be surprised if she probably becomes the Auditor General of the Great Republic of Kenya tomorrow or becomes the Director of Criminal Investigations, DCI of Kenya, because under 35, you're already thinking about how much losses we are encountering as citizens against what government is doing. I think that was quite memorable for me as a judge within the exemplary leadership position. Of course, I interacted with people who have gone beyond the expectations of their cultural, um, people have gone beyond their cultural expectations. Let me tell you about this young lady from Kibra who said, I lost my parents when I was eight years old. Within the culture where I come from, young people, particularly ladies, are never considered to be educated. And beyond that, she got up, rose up, and considered the kind of future that she wanted to get into. And right now, in Kibra, what she was able to tell us was that she is actually training and mentoring very many young people who have gone through similar circumstances. So much such that regardless of what you are going through, you can be able to make it as a young person. And, and uh, when I asked her what she wants to be in future, she said she's looking beyond Kenya. So top 35 under 35 already is looking beyond just the boundaries of the Great Republic of Kenya. And this young person who is a lady, I won't tell you from what cultural background, but from the story that I have shared with you, you should be able to realize that actually where she comes from, education is not valued within her culture. And when we asked her about sustainable development goals, she was able to narrate almost all the goals and she took us through her own interest in the particular goals that address education for young women. My advice to our upcoming generation is get to know yourself. Who are you? Where do you want to go to? Where do you want to get to by the time you hit 18 years old and by the time you are transiting? Article 260J of the Constitution of, Sea of Kenya, you are a youth between 18 to 35 years of age. By the time you hit 35 years, who do you want to be? The change that you want to see is a change that you are making. What is it that you are doing as an upcoming generation, particularly of young people? And so for me, really, your future is right in your hands. How can you be able to use your fingers and what you already have in your hands? The people that are around you, do you have a mentor, for example? Do you have someone that you go back to and you talk to about the challenges that you are facing? Do you have somebody that 
call you call or that calls you and asks you can you account for your 8 to 5 pm for a whole day can you account for your evenings can you account for a whole weekend is it possible that you can be able to tell them what you have been able to do as an upcoming generation otherwise this was an extremely excellent process the first time in the great republic of kenya of course i googled that and i'll tell you for free that instagram says that top 35 under 35 has only been done in australia and closest to us is in south africa and it's not been done by non-government organizations like the youth agenda what i saw has only been done by established uh, news media stations like cnn bbc times magazine eve magazine among others but this youth organization took the risk to be able to underscore the essence and the importance of having an award process for those who are doing extraordinary things as top 35 and under 35. Don't you think you want to be part of that as an upcoming youth leader? I guess you want to be and when you are there, let's meet.